Hello everybody, Malekith here, and welcome back to the Iris playthrough for Crusader Kings 3. So, I did some investigating after we uh, formed the Kingdom of Ireland last time. And it turns out... King Tagged II, which is what this guy was before he formed the Kingdom of Ireland, because now obviously it's a new kingdom, not just the uh, petty kingdom of Connaught. So he's now King Tagged I. But previously he was King Tagged II is also the king that made Ireland in my Crusader Kings 2 playthrough. Now, admittedly, there are some differences in the Crusader Kings 2 playthrough, episode 6 for anyone who's interested in checking. I don't know why you would, but here you go. Uh, he formed it in December 1140, whereas this time around we formed it in December 1129. So we're, you know, quite a few years later, like 15 years later. Um, and he was... 54 in that playthrough and 68 in this. Now, I imagine that's come about because he's probably a character that exists right at the very start of the game. He's probably the youngest um, sort of, not dynasty, what's the word I'm thinking of? Generation that is pre-built in. You know, you'll have your current king, you'll have his son, and then you'll have their child. And I think that is the generation we're at at the moment. But I found that quite interesting and pretty amusing, to be fair. That, especially as he's, you know, he's 70. He, he basically clung on for dear life to form the kingdom that he made in my last game, is how I'm viewing it. Um, I mean, we went about it very differently last time. We basically conquered the north of Ireland and came down, leaving Munster and Leinster till the end. Whereas this time we kind of done it the other way around and gone and grabbed Iceland, whatever else. So there, are, there have been differences, but I thought that was quite an amusing similarity. Anyway. We posited that he had lost all of about nine seconds as soon as we started this, but uh, we'll see. So we're over our domain limit, but he's so old and so close to death, I don't want to do anything about it because it may end up messing with the succession thing of who gets what. You know, all that kind of stuff. I'm tempted to use the hook to adjust old Dommel's contract before he dies. I mean, it does affect his opinion, though. And he's going to be quite a strong force within the, um, the realm, so we kind of want to keep it aside, so may maybe I won't do that. If he'd been like a single county, maybe I would have done, but... Anyway. Uh, right. O County Control in Ormond. Let's get the Counselor on it. We review. Let's get... Increase County Control. Off you go. Declare War on Petty King Harold, whatever. Powerful Vassals expect stuff. Mayors don't care. Uh, titles can be created, so this is what we were working on. Now we're the king. Okay, let's check the succession, hang on. So currently, Ireland, Connaught, Connaught itself, right. Meanwhile, they get that, that, that. Wow, they literally get, like, all of it. She gets Iceland and Dublin. I'm wondering if we can form this duchy, it should mean that this person's lands kind of come under two dukes. Is that going to split there? Do we want that? I mean, we might as well make the Iceland one, right? Does the Iceland one form into some sort of kingdom easily? Probably not. It'll probably need all sorts of things over in Scandinavia. Let's have a look. Um, he says, so he can't, there we go. King, yeah, kingdom in Norway. There's no way they're getting that anytime soon. We could form that duchy. Um, so it's that title. Tout de jour. 
Great, the Dachi. Get, get more prestige. So let's just check in the succession. It will probably go to. Oh. So they now get that title. Does that mean? Ah, wait, 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 wait. So we now get to keep the Oldham of Dublin because there was a higher title to push across here. That works out nicely. Because although they've got the duchy, they don't. Like, it doesn't actually give them another county to draw troops from. So who would get... Kingdom? If we were to make this petty kingdom, who would that go to? Can we tell? Really? Don't go to him because he's not in the succession line. Hmm. Okay, well we can't afford it, so let's unpause and not worry about it. Okay, that's Finn Barmerian, good. What's our air looking like at the moment? Aggressive attacker, misguided warrior. It's got quite a good learning stat, which is not a bad thing. That will help um, quite a bit with the culture stuff. The higher this is, the because with the culture head, should increase the speed that we unlock various techs in here. So given we are the culture head, it might be worthwhile for us to start focusing on learning a bit more. Obviously don't want to neglect some of the other things, but... We're going to have to fight them at some point. I just don't want to do it under him ruling, because... Oh. Brother El Domel has died. I lost 12 stress. So who... See, what I would like to actually do is kind of trade here for Dublin so that we own our own. But, um... Yeah, that's not really something we can do. Uh, empty council position. We need a marshal. He's the best marshal in the land. One of the mayors. Doesn't like me probably because he wants a seat on the council while he's about to get it. Hang on. That's a short reign. You what? Jog on. Change another Earl's contract. Who are you? Athlone. So he only owns one thing. I'm his liege. Let's hoik his taxes up. The too many duchies thing will sort itself out when the inheritance comes through. Kind of a good way of fragmenting the power of these people, inheriting 
other bits of my land would be to make sure they have lots of kids so they have to keep spreading it around. I mean, it would take a generation before they get that weakened position, but... Guy, he's so old. I don't want him... Um, oh, she's not looking well. And she's 64 as well. Okay. So men. Got the money. On them. Do I try and boot them off of Ireland? Alright, let's start getting a claim. Nearly a devoted servant. Is that going to be 1,500? Hang on a minute. Legacy things can we afford? Do we wait for 2,000? What's your guest opinion? Marriage acceptance, fertility, bread gain, prowess and effectiveness. Sure. I might continue up the law one, so we'll wait till Renown hits 2,000. Forced vassalization. Seized Azure County. See, I'm not sure how that would work once she because at the moment the the Welsh prince owns here and she owns here, but they're gonna combine when it goes to her. Go on then, let's give this a try. Raise the man! Or not come via the river. Diplomacy perk. Oh. It's a big force that's just appeared. Okay. Um. Company of Bretons, they've hired a load of mercenaries. Yep, that's why they're practically bankrupt. Um, right. And should we hire some mercenaries ourselves then? So they went for archers, which counters the cavalry counter archers. Yeah, they do. We can afford them. Okay, go for that. You catch up. 
They're going to hire mercenaries. We'll hire the exact opposite. Opposite, you know, the exact counter. Oof. Just went into debt. Of course we did. Okay, let's avoid that river. No. And we can't get out of it. I don't really get why we lost either. Three of our units are countering their stuff. We're elite quality versus their superior quality. We've got more knights. We've got higher commander advantage. Well, that didn't really make much sense to me. that other force gone on my death's doorstep ah oh, great Scheme at court, fair enough, whatever. Okay, we seize that down. Let's go smash that army. Oh, it's in the balance. Okay, let's not smash that army. Let's go siege their other place. Great. Try and get this sort of Welsh Leinster army out of the war. Okay, enforce demands. What's that? Okay. Okay, they're coming to fight us. We stand our ground. See how it goes. Oh, that roll of a one. Go on, boys. Okay, if we were to chase them, we'll probably lose. Let's retreat our way back to our land and recover for a little bit. And go start pushing some of their holdings. Flip this war around a bit. Oh, and we have died. High King Tagged of Ireland has found peace in Christ's embrace at 73 years of age. He died of old age. A man to always put the good of his family above all else. He spent his life trying to ensure a glorious future for all his descendants. 
My queen Siobhan ascends to the throne. Content with her lot, Siobhan's vassals may ridicule her for her passive nature. Right, so... He, he left us with all of Iceland secured, the formation of the Kingdom of Ireland, and a lot of the provinces united. Siobhan's left trying to sort out the last Kingdom of Leinster and then dealing with the Isles. Now we're going to have a real state of affairs to deal with here, so no lifestyle chosen. She's good at intrigue. She's good at martial. She's, I mean, she's pretty good all around. I'm, I might push her to learning lifestyle. Cultural fascination progress. Development. Yeah. Okay. So we want learning plus three, a bonus to growth. Go with a scholarship focus. The Isles folks are back. Okay. What are my demands? Oof. Okay, if we can win this... It will look good for us. I'm gonna let them just siege down Dublin. It's the war target though, isn't it? They can come find us in our hills over here if they want to. Go siege down Donegal. Oh, supplies are low. I oh, know we're, we're well supplied. Okay, to the Vile Queen Siobhan, we have been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more, we're done paying taxes. Uh, really? Where's this faction? Um, the county in the faction. Ah. Dublin. Never hasn't slotted to serve their lord. Fine. I mean, yeah, you siege Dublin back for me. That works. Yep, and then uh, the Isles guys come in and uh, smack those peasants for me. How did you like that, Mr. Uh, Mr. Peasant? I thought so, I thought so. Off you go. Till death do us part. How can a heart endure this kind of pain without breaking? It cannot be possible, yet here I am, my heart beating on whilst yours has gone quiet. Oh, Rogalak, my songbird. Life will not be the same without you. Uh-oh. Got children? Yeah, we got children. We got an heir and a spare. Um, right. At least the memories remain. 35 stress, or I hope you find peace. I mean, why would you ever pick 
a high stress option. Maybe we can only pick that because our learning level's as high as it is or something? Alright, we have no spouse. Let's um let's let's put the culture as the right group. Kinda want someone to boost the learning stats. I mean he's got why are they why is it always bishops? Like, he's got a really great learning stat, but the rest are terrible. <sighs> we lose some... Fine. The council position, we need a spy master who actually likes me. Short reign, foreign culture, male dominated. Nope. Okay, this person. Member of the family. It's my son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In you go. And Chancellor. Sister and vassal. Wants a council seat. Short reign, title claimant. I mean. It's the Chancellor, right? Sign the drunkard. Get that powerful vassal on the uh, council. Now, uh, she should be too old to have any more children, so we shouldn't have to worry about competing family lines. So we're just using him for the stat bump, basically. You going for my capital? Can we um what's these demands yet? Not at all. We have to slap him about a lot more. Balanced fight. Defensive buildings. My counselor has died. Need a new marshal. In you go, sir. Oh, my knights. Fair enough. Alright, let's try it. He's trying to make a run for it. We're in. Here's the fight. Nope, it's the fight. A knight was wounded. Injury runs deep. I fear that his body is not strong enough. Dear. He's one of the good ones as well. We're winning, we're winning. Come on. Kick them back into the sea. Will not accept. Okay. Um. Let's go siege back Dublin. 
let's see how it looks after that. Oof, we're into debt. I need to end this war. Here they come again. Alright, my spy pastor has come to me with grave news. Would not need someone who's plotting to kill my mother. Oh no. No patrol. Can we force them out? Force demands, yes. So, he loses his claim. We get a crap ton of gold. His factions gain some discontent. Excellent. Disband. And our finances are sorted. Now, succession. Use those two. Can I create that title? Or oh, create a cadet branch? Mm, no. Why? Okay, we can create the Duchy of Meath. So, now the succession. It's Dublin and the Duchy. As opposed to the territory as well. sister's upset that she hasn't got a place on the council. The only thing she's good at is learning, which she can't do anything with. Okay, let's swap you to domestic affairs. Put you on increasing control. Any faith to convert? Gained a thieves guild. Right. That was... A, a rocky start to her rule, but, um... Yeah. It's a seat on the council. I mean, there's not much we can do about that. On we go. So, 12 years and we discover the communal government, which increases development of Irish counties. And then I believe we go into the next age. She likes me plus 30. See, our military strength has dropped off because of the um, 
vassals splitting out, taking the territory with them. Which is unfortunate. Decisions do we have? We are insular Christianity, right? Yeah. Can we... We change that? We... Other faiths are there. Okay, you can convert to existing faiths. Armed pilgrimages. A hunt, host a feast. Who knows what the requirements are for that? Holding a feast could be a good idea. about the right amount of strength that it would reduce. Hopefully improve vassal opinion. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Guests are gathered in the Great Hall. Lords and ladies from near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright, spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome friends. In a drunken stumble, the mayor unlatched an enormous cauldron hanging over the fireplace in the middle of the feasting hall. Savory broth welled forth to cover half the room in a sea of stew. The irritable Aed, which is, I think, the sun. Yep. Seated next to the cauldron, was caught by the rushing wave and loudly cursed his ruined appearance as grease ran down his face. Guests rushed to the other side of the hall and thick mass spread greasy tendrils on skipping feet. Uh oh. Well, it cost us some prestige. I mean, we got plenty of it. All my guests go home satisfied while I remain proud of my display of generosity. That said, the mayor might carry more shame than satisfaction after overturning the cauldron. Cleaning up will not be cheap. 30 gold and people like me 20 more. I mean, it was expensive, but it achieved what I wanted to achieve. Okay, Spouse Grofonda. To know its relationships between the next generation of rulers and is a duty we should not neglect, says High King. Yes. Some of the more influential vassals have children that I am certain Ruglak benefit from knowing. Okay. Punch back. Not, so that's the weird, like, uncle that splintered off. These are the two sisters. Reaver. And she's more of the stats I'd like him to have. Don't know. Pinbar. There you go. Sister Cadetti to Cadet Branch. Kind of wish you'd explain these Cadet Branches a little bit more. Like, why would you want a Cadet Branch? Familiar reputation. Spouse's average diplomacy skill led to this windfall. Oh good. My sister likes me now. Still wants a seat on the council. I 
I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to fully win that over because of the title claimant and the council seat problem. Hello, what's going on here? Higher level, it's a truce with me, so that must be internal fighting. Military strength similar. What? How? Got enough knights yet? No. I don't get how... Hmm. Well, I think that's a good time to bring that episode to an end, but that I might look at that in a bit more detail at the start of next episode. If we can swipe that, I don't really care about the rest of Wales for the minute. We've got bigger problems up here. But that seems like a good place to leave it. And uh, we'll start next episode by having a quick look around the world map. See how everything's looking. On that note, thank you for watching. Bye for now.